The filter on the Analog Solutions fuse box is a 12 decibel per octave multi-mode filter. It's continuously variable. You know, for so many years, all the synths seem to want to have low pass filters. Low pass filters sound great, 24 decibel per octave low pass filters, but to be honest, I think there are so many more opportunities for interesting timbres with a 12 decibel per octave. So I am happy to see this, especially one that's continuously variable because you can create all kinds of filter types that don't exist. Well, I mean, they do exist, but you can author your filter type. Anyway, so let's have a listen to this. Um, I just have a sawtooth wave going into the filter right now. So let's listen to the low pass filter. Of course, it's a 12 decibel per octave filter, so we don't have complete silence there at the bottom of the filter cutoff, but. Okay, let's listen to that with a quarter of the resonance knob turned up. Let's listen to it halfway up on the resonance knob. Three fourths of the way. And all the way up. Maxing out there a little bit. Let me turn it down. Very rich, frothy, 12 decibel per octave sound. Absolutely excellent. It's excellent. It is exactly what you would expect from an analog solutions filter. Great sounding. Now, remember that these filter types are continuously variable. So I could theoretically choose uh, filters that exist between like a low pass and a notch. Um, but right now I'm just going to go straight to the notch so we can hear what it sounds like. Very nice sounding. Uh, I'm going to put the resonance halfway up resonance and notch really never really worked that well together for me, but we'll just do some here. And then all the way up. Kind of an interesting sound. All right, let's try the high pass. Let's remember that the low pass filter doesn't really give you a great low end. It just gives you the low end that's there. The high pass filter, on the other hand, with resonance, can actually provide for you a bigger low end. We'll go a quarter of the way up. Halfway up. Very frothy. Three fourths the way up. And there's some of that bass I'm talking about. Did you hear how the you can hear the bass like kind of come in as the resonant point at the filter cutoff starts boosting bass frequencies. Right there. I'm probably gonna have to turn this down. All right, and let's go all the way up. And now let's have a listen to the bandpass filter. Once you turn the bandpass filter on, it disables the continuously variable part and you're only in bandpass. And let's listen to this without any resonance. I'll turn this back up. It has a nice low end for a bandpass filter. Let me go halfway up for resonance. Really great 
good sounding. And then all the way up here for resonance. Uh, let's, <laughs> I guess we'll just turn down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so you have a real huge opportunity for emphasizing some bass. And that is fantastic. I mean, yeah. So your filter serves more of a purpose than just uh, making a cool filter sound. Uh, you can actually use it to shape the timbre specifically of your sound, which is, it's a great feature. You can't really do that with a, a 24 decibel per octave low pass. You can jack up the resonance and that does change the timbre, but you don't have the, sh the subtle shaping opportunity that you do with a filter like this. Huge low end. All right. But yes, yeah, so let's go back and listen to the low pass filter. It's really creamy and dark. Which makes me, you know, constantly think, uh, constantly going towards a, you know, 24 decibel per octave low pass, we're really missing out on some real beauty. You know, I remember when 20, 12 decibel per octaves were treated sort of like, oh, it's not as good as 24, but I guess it's okay. But really, these timbres are way, they're, they're so useful and so gorgeous. I think um, 12 decibel is underrated. But since everyone's putting them on synthesizers now, I don't think that's necessarily true anymore. But I'm glad to see more of this happening. That is a great sounding filter. So of course you have that filter with the awesome, rich sounding analog oscillators of analog solutions. And you just, it creates some really beautiful sounds. Here, for example, we're between notch and high pass. I can turn up the resonance so we can get a low end boost. Okay, so in the next video, we'll talk about how we can do some real-time shaping of that filter cutoff using the functionality down here below.